Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome into the morning message. Let's see what's going on for you. For those of you who've been asking about the Chiron class, yes, it's still available. There's two sessions. Um, that is about the wounded healer, which is um, the wound you've been working on healing, but you can't quite get it. So I'm going to teach you about Chiron and how to understand it in your own life. There's also a North Node class that we're doing in February. These are all in February. Um, North Node, back by popular demand. This is the work you're here to do in this life. So I'm going to help you understand uh, the North Node. Okay. All that stuff is below. Let's see where we go. All right. This is not for any particular zodiac sign, but if I do see zodiac signs, I will call them out. Yesterday, um, for those of you who are members of the channel, I did a Leo uh, full moon live. It was pretty cool. So if you haven't been there yet, check it out. All right, begin now. Vast vistas, expand your horizons. Narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. So this has been feeling like, ah. Uh, like we've been through the looking glass a little bit here. Okay, from December into January. I've definitely been feeling that. It's like almost when you start to go down a road, like something stops you. There's this stop, there's a stop start energy to right now. And I feel like um, even though you think, um, you may not perceive that things are wide open, they really are. All right, let's see where we go here. All right. <laughs> Hierophant underneath, and then I saw this. I had to, that's why I laughed, because it's like, that's super opposite energy, right? The um, stop, start, stop, start kind of stuff. Nine of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. I've been seeing a lot of the Queen of Pentacles recently. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Magician, Two of Wands, Four of Pentacles. I feel like you are having a new beginning here. That's what I mean. It's like the starting. Here's the starting gate. Okay. And here's the starting gate. This Uranus, Uranian energy here. And the stopping energy of, whoa, young lady, do you know what you're getting yourself into? All right, there's something like that going on. So there has been a history of um, a manipulative relationship, magician, and um, whew, I don't like this combination at all. Five of swords, seven of swords. So I feel like this person may have offered you love in the past and you might have wanted to go for it. And now that you are doing better at taking good care of yourself, you're sort of like, hmm, is that a good idea? So I feel like you're looking at the future and being like, you know what? I was going to jump into this begin now, vast vistas. This feels really good to me. But all of a sudden, whoop, some kind of intuition shows up and you're like, I don't know. Okay. So clarify the five of swords, seven of swords here. Five of swords, seven of swords, lovers, six of swords, star, three of wands. So what you're asking for here is, um, this beautiful energy of lovers, something new coming in, opening up to love. But what you're getting is like a voyage to a healing um, experience. Okay. So you've manifested this. Um, you've manifested this person. Gemini, Aquarius, air sign. Gemini here too. Someone... Um, some of you could be thinking about twin flame when I say Gemini, the twins, right? Um, some of you could be thinking about uh, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's something here about maybe you thought this person was a twin. 
Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Temperance, Wheel of Fortune. So, um, Air Signs, Taurus, Sag. Okay. Um, this definitely seems like a good opportunity. There's no question about it. I almost feel like you may be holding on to this connection because you don't want to let go of something that seemed so promising at one point. All right. It seemed so amazing. So truly amazing. Two of Wands and Four of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. You're seeing it clearly. Four of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. This is what I really want to manifest. This is what I'm really looking to manifest. Okay. Four of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Um, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, all these new beginnings, all right? All of these amazing new beginnings. So why am I, why am I getting someone who's doing this? There's some healing that needed to be done from a past love that wasn't done. Okay. So it has all the hallmarks of something really good, but yet it's really, um, pushing you into, introspection. It's pushing you into a self-healing mode. It's pushing you into, uh, hold on, I, I'm getting the same tingling sensation that I had when this other, when this person showed up before or when this pattern showed up, showed up before. Okay. I'm getting the same feeling. Last time I just jumped for it, right? Last time I went for it. This time, tread thoughtfully. Okay. The person's purpose in your life is not about new love. It's making a pathway for you to get new love. Okay. So if you're feeling like this person is the one, they're the one who's the healing presence or the one who opens up that wound just enough. So you take care of it again. It's scabbed over. All right. It's, um, maybe got a scar. It's maybe got something that really, uh, it's got something that doesn't, um, it doesn't show through all, all that much anymore until this person shows up and like poke, a poke, poke. All right. So if you're dealing with an air sign, if you're dealing with an air sign. Five of Wands, World, and Three of Swords. They're definitely opening up again. Um, this is going to take you... You could be dealing with this person for a long, long time. If you don't see that this is about not going to the distance with this person, oh, they're healing. They're here to open up that wound. All right? They are here to open up that wound. If you don't see that, you could waste a lot of time with this person. All right. Um, Sag, Taurus, right? Because I just did all the air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Sag and, uh, Sag and Aries are here, or Pisces and Taurus. So if you're dealing with a Sag, all right, if you're dealing with a Sag, Six of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Moon, Chariot. This person definitely, there's a power game here. That's how you're going to identify this. If this person's a fire sign, um, you may feel a little bit weird because there's a power game going on here. That's a, that's the tip off that this is the person who has the problem, who has the, who's the, um, the guide to healing. They're a person who is guiding you to healing. So like you see this, right? They're the ones driving the boat. They're, it's almost like they're, they're taking you into a place you don't want to go. It's too painful. All right. Something about power. Because I saw the Aries here too. Something about power. Something about like I am going to um, get you and then I'm going to um, put you through a lot of nonsense. I'm going to put you through a lot of bad stuff. Because I want power. 
because they're hurting. This person's also definitely someone who's never healed from something really not good, okay? Pisces, dealing with a Pisces. Five of Pentacles, death, whoopsie. Eight of Swords, Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, drama, drama, drama. Um, this person has a, um, a lack mindset. Um, they are going to change you for the better, but there's a lot of drama. If you're dealing with a Pisces, a lot of drama here. The, all of these people, <laughs> this air sign, the Sag, this Pisces, I'm going to do Taurus in a second. They're going to, you will be better for this, but how much time do you want to spend and how much pain do you want to take? Okay. All right, the Taurus here, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, Empress, Five of Cups. Hmm. The Taurus is involved in a third party. They like people to look up to them, like, look at me, how amazing I am. They want you to be one of their many suitors. It's not going to end well, okay? This is a this is a thing that's being offered to you and you are in many ways so much better equipped to handle it this time than you were the last time. Let's see. For the next 5 days to 5 weeks. Page of wands, queen of wands, temperance. Drama, drama, drama. This is the Leo full moon coming out. Drama, drama, drama. Okay? This person's going to take you over the jumps. And if you can look at it like, okay, this person's here to heal me. What is it that I need to heal? You can get around this. You can not go down this road. But if you go toward it unconsciously, you're going to get sucked into this again. Okay? I think it's time to really look at this very calmly and know what someone's on, what has someone what someone has on offer. Um, your job is to really hold back any decisions right now. Okay, hold back. You've manifested this because there's healing that still needs to be done. Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. If you want to see where we're going to go uh, in terms of what the healing might be. And, you know, um, how to, I'm going to look at how to identify this person. Because I feel like, ah, eh, well, someone comes along with Ace of Cups. Someone comes along with Ace of Cups often. Why this person? Okay? Why this person? All right. So, link is below if you want to continue on with me. If you're on Patreon, the rest of this reading starts right now.